Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are live. No music, just chill, relaxing, late night stupid. That is what we're gonna do. So, we're gonna play some Sprocket here. We're gonna design a few tanks. Uh, so, good evening, people, people. Will you please enjoy me? Or enjoy enjoin me not enjoy me i mean that's optional but i mean some people are here just to watch me fail sorry still waking up it's been a long day i have tomorrow off and i'm gonna make some really really bad tanks so cheers to everyone there we go um this is not whiskey this is coffee i need to wake my dead ass up oh good news though good news <clears throat> Really fantastic news, actually. Uh, we've got uh, some really, really interesting stuff in the pipeline. So far, all the audio is delivered on Text Talks Battletech, and uh, so script finalized. All that shit's in the works, man. <laughs> so we're uh, we're on track. This is amazing, and uh, the people I've been working with are incredible. They're absolutely incredible. Some of the stuff we've generated has been absolutely astounding and I cannot wait to show you guys but I don't want to you know like ruin it yeah see look there's Mike he's here Mike we're doing good Mike tell the people we're doing good on text talks battle tech please all right so let's let's get into our scenarios now last time around we beat no man's land which was the world war one ish scenario and we are playing again as uh the uh, nation of Texylvania, I guess, or Beeplesburg. I mean, what would the Black Pants nation be called? What is the name of the uh, Kingdom of Cargonia? You know, so we're one of the defense contractors, right? So we're like Beeple Motors. And, you know, like the, it's, it's like Beeple Motors. And then it's like, underneath it, the motto is like, it's a car. <laughs> Not, you know, a great car, but it is a car so you know that's that's what we're gonna do so we beat the first scenario the second scenario is called ambush which uh survive or escape huh all right let's see how big we can build this fucker escape nothing this bullshit all right what's it limit me to 40 tons god damn it all right um and coffee i'm just <sighs> mm. All right, fine. Fine, 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 fine. Guys, we need to come up with, like, okay, this is interwar. That is the technology level we have to play this at. So, Char B1s, Vickers Mediums, all, all those, the fucking Vickers Independents, all the wacky shit that was way off the mark. All equally valid. All equally valid designs until World War II. Then, then you find out who's the, uh, who's the winners and who is the losers, and so on, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the ultimate contest uh, with of military weapons, which is, uh, let's see, military weapons. Guns can be all sorts of really nice in the lab, but if uh, they don't work in actual war, and the enemy kills your guys dead, it, it's no good, you know? So, 40, oh, uh, would you guys, sorry, I'm a little disorganized, but you know what? I wanted to show you guys something. Can I show you guys something? Would you guys uh, would you guys want to see something I've been working on? Um, so so check this out. Uh, this is this is some stuff I've been playing with in the test tracks. You know, and I wanted to see you guys or see let you guys see some of the things and how they worked. Um, so what if I told you that I made a sequel to the Toblerone tank? A sequel to the Toblerone tank. A Toblerone 2, if you will. What would you think if I told you I made one and it works pretty good? Let me show you. <laughs> Alright, so this is just a proof of concept. Uh, it's called Trongle. I, I went with Trongle. As you can see, it is two Toblerones. I have harnessed the power of two Toblerones, right? 
Now, the armor is, yes, it, it's all, it's a fuckload of armor. You, you cannot get through this. It's like a giant centipede. Okay, and this is an interwar tank, but it's triangle, and that's, so, okay, here's, here's the idea. Here, here's the idea. Look. Uh, <laughs> you could drive it down a hedgerow, right? And the hedgerow comes up to, like, here. Okay, the hedgerow's right right there and it would look like just a wall or an embankment like people would think it was part of a dam no one would think that's a tank sitting there it's just big brain yeah this is how i this is how i outthink the enemy i confuse the fuck out of my own troops first so trongol is a 40 ton behemoth with incredibly impressive armor and most of it is sloped the end caps are 100 mil and everything else is about 70 to 80. So it's actually a really, really good tank. Um, and I was going to probably put a 90 mil on it. But I just wanted to test this and uh, do some big brain stupids. All right, so check this out. Trongle forward. Trongle. Trongle smash. Trongle no like. Trench no like. Bye. You see what I mean? Pretty fucking great. Turns well. Turns ominously well. Look at that thing. Right? All right, see, look, now we gotta. It, it does pretty okay. Look at this thing. I mean, this thing is just an armored brick. I love it. Trongle. From the makers of Tobler Tank. You know you love it. I will kill you with Tobler Tongue. So, I, I think this is a good basis uh, for a new hull, which I'm going to call the Mark III. And for the interwar scenario, I have to try to come under 40 tons, which rankles my sensibilities. I don't, I don't like when people tell me what I can do. I don't like that at all. All right, so we'll just make a, a, a light trongle, right? We'll just make, <laughs> this is so stupid. All right, one second. Oh, 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 it's the scout trongle. It's the scout trongle. All right, all right, here we go. Yes, scout trongle mark three, look at that. Look at that! The enemy flew over, they just see some tents. You could paint all sorts of Red Cross stuff on the- I mean, you can't do that, that's illegal. Um... So it needs a mantlet, and a gunner's sight, and a gunner's port. And then I have to figure out how to jam every- eh, don't worry about it. Is it Trungle? Okay, that's not gonna fit. That's what she said. Alright, um... ba 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 Yeah... Yeah, it looks proper. Alright. Good access of movement. Let's go with. Let's see. No, this is gonna be great. All right. So, uh, uh, what are we? What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Let's let's go with a good caliber for defeating tanks. Thirty-seven millimeter, and uh, it's inner war. Don't judge me. It's inner war. It's inner war. It is is an inner war tank. Don't judge me. However, we're going to go with 1.2 meter shells. Because that's hilarious. I mean, it's it's just like an enormous pencil, you know? Uh, that's that's what, I'm, uh, that's what I'm going for. All right, so then we got to get that gun mount. Okay, torque, blah, 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 blah. Looks like it should work. Uh, it's just a big honking shell. You know what? 
let's see. You know what we're gonna do? <laughs> 69 millimeter. Can I get a can I get an upvote for uh, appealing to my very bored and tired brain? So here's the thing, and this is just my salesmanship because I'm not just trying. I'm not just trying to make a tank. I'm trying to figure out, much like when I play the ship game, I'm much trying to figure out how this fictional thing would fit into an alternate history. Like, how would I explain this artifact? And that is one of the things I enjoy about mini games. When I, when I play mini games, I can get bored of them if I can't explore the world and see what's what. It's one of the reasons why I don't like MMOs. It's because I feel like I'm going places where everyone's gone before and there's nothing unique. And that's depressingly like my real life. So I favor things like, you know, self-determination in that respect. Oh, boy. Let's see. Let's see. What are we going to do? Because I like the 69 nice millimeter gun. But uh, what I'm thinking is that was how they sold it, you know? I, I think they, they went out there and they were like, Well, I know the other tank has a 75 millimeter, but I have a 69 millimeter. And then everyone in the room goes, Nice! And then they buy that one, because that's how we buy stuff. I, I hate to say this is an exaggeration, but... I mean, if, if you made, like, a tank called Kill Fuck Soul Shitter, Congress is going to probably buy it. Then again, I would buy that. I, I really would. I'd, I'd be like, fuck yeah, I'm buying that tank. That sounds metal as fuck. I'm, I'm not a metal expert, but... Mm. All right, we got to put some lights on our, on our guy here. Well, he's going to need some logs. This thing's going to get stuck a lot. Also, I want to appear to be a cabin. Only Trongletank can make... Uh, I don't know. I mean, it's going to have something that Cruz would say. It's got to have some little folksy saying, you know. What do you think? What do you think the Trongles, like, crew would say about it? Like, what would be a Trongle-related uh, war story? I like, I like these little details, like, you know, hoist, hoist anchor points. I find those fascinating. And, like, little kitbashy stuff. I know this is just, like, playing with my dick or whatever, but I, eh, I like this little, I like this little stuff in modeling, you know, where you're, where you're sitting there just playing with all the little bits and putting them on there. And it kind of reminds me of being a kid. I, I, I had a B-17 model. I had to work all summer to uh, save up for it. One of those real nice ones. Yeah, that was a kick-ass model. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. For Maximal Patrician Vibes, what if we had one guy who was the driver, gunner, loader, and radio man, and the other guy who is the commander? Because some people are more equal than others. It's a two-man operation, as you know. One man to do all the work, and then another man to supervise him. Not like anyone has that problem today. Ugh. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. Is my tank a comment on civilization, or is it just a tank? Is it an allegory, or a look into the heart of text? None shall ever know. Alright, so let's see. Let's do light... Yeah, it's still way too fucking big. So we've got some problems that this tank... Okay, it's got too much armor. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem, actually. All right, let's just take this down as low as we can and then figure it out from there. Because it's a little scout tank, right? So... All right, let's see. Tonk Squad... I hope you guys enjoyed my latest uh, ship posting thing. Deputy and I making that was was pretty pretty good for both of us, just to kind of speak from the heart. Uh, formerly working in emergency services, I'm not sure if people thought it would be like too much of a TMI or whatever, but 
it was kind of cathartic. It was it was kind of nice, and uh, I was glad to have done it. So it was just kind of a deep, raw talk. And I remember after Deputy and I shot it, I was like, "Dude, that was fucking raw. Are you sure you want to cut anything?" He was like, "No." And I was like, "Fuck, man." It's rare you can capture those kind of conversations in life. And I, I always I always try to tell people, try to capture those conversations if you can. They're rare. Anyways. Just gotta make some adjustments so I can make more room in the trongle for more um Trongle bits. Yeah, auto generate my ass. That thing's broken. All right, let's do heavy. You know what? No, we're just gonna go with big. How much engine can I put in Trongle? Trongle desires displacement. Scout Trongle requires much displacement. All right, let's set that rev at like a hundo. And then max RPM is 1900. So let's set that there. Broadside machine guns. All right, I'll get to it. I'll get to it. Let's see. Target men. Uh, let's see. 1400 to get on the power. And power has to be delivered at 1800. 805 horsepower is not bad for uh, a 4 gallon engine. No, sorry. That's a 12 gallon engine. My bad. Um, yeah. Quite the power plant. A scout vehicle, you say. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shit. Oh, I love this. Yeah. There's the there's the exhaust for the scout trongle. This prevents the crew from dying, mostly. Uh, oh, yeah. Thank God you can size down parts. That's, that's a fitting exhaust. Fucking absolute unit. Why did I build this thing? Oh, yeah. Because I haven't been sleeping. All right. So here's what we're going to do. We're just going to put that there. All right, cool. It's got vents. It's got gas. It's got speed. I think that suspension is fucked. All right, so I've made it worse. And then Tex made a boo boo. All right, let me let me think. Uh. All right, let me let me have a think. Let me have a think. I gotta have a think. All right. Mm, more armor. I know what I want. Me want armor. Grug want. Okay, that's too much. Fuck. All right. All right, all right, all right. Shit. Little bit too much. This is not a Stug. This is a micro Stug. All right, so I my limit is actually 40 tons. Why am I nickel and diming myself? The shape. The shape is what matters. The shape. The tank needs a shape. Oh, okay, I have... I'm exploring because... Oh, my God, it's making everything mutate. It's making it mutate terribly. What are we making? Are we making something new? Yes. Project B. We are creating something new. We are creating a new device. It is no matter for one of my skill. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to go... Okay, how big can we make her? Make her a little bit, a little bit more junk in the trunk. And then we need a... A bit more top heavy, I think, up front. Gives it kind of a Star Wars homeworldy looking mutant look. I dig it. This thing is horrible. It's like a reverse wedge. Oh no, it's doing this now. I'm embracing it. I'm embracing it. All right, so then we're going to mad sign. Oh no, now we've gone non Euclidean. All right, how do we figure this shot trap out? I mean, the enemy can't calculate how to penetrate that if it doesn't exist, right? Yeah, shoot through infinity, guys. Good luck. Bet you can't. Yeah, that's that's what you learn in the tank design school. I'll just put that back into reality. 
and pretend I didn't do it. All right, so what else could I do? Oh, oh, oh. all right, yeah. Looks kind of like an Alienware case now. Some of their cases are so fucking sharp. Oh, shall we rise above in our droid tank? <laughs> what is this? We are making magic. Look at this. Look at this majestic beast. This looks like some out of Tank Girl. Which is a pretty okay comic. I have only ever seen the movie. Which, you know, was alright. Uh, I've only ever seen the movie. And then someone had actually sent me a link. And uh, was like, hey, check out, you know, here's where you can read the comic. And so it was like, pay a fee and read a comic. And I was like, alright. Red Tank Girl. I was like, Oh, that's not bad. Kind of like the art style. Alright. Oh my god, it looks like an angry elephant. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> oh my god. What is this? What? What is this? What is this? Is this like a Tank Knights thing? Is this... Is, is what... I I don't know what it is, but I'm embracing it. Gentlemen, we need to think of a name. Gentlemen and or ladies. Gentlemen and or ladies. Katarina Sforza, I believe... Well, Katarina Sforza, Ludmila Pavlachinko, Maria Obiskatova. I, I think that, you know, uh, history has proven that, like, broads are just fine in whatever. That's probably not the way to phrase that, but, uh... I mean, the thing is, is ladies can be just as awesome at killing in war. So, I mean, there could be a ladies tank. I'm not saying there couldn't be. I mean, there's a whole market out there when you think about it. We need tanks for everyone. And then we sell them all the things. We sell them all the things. If everyone had tanks... We can have tank knights for real. Hmm. All right. So, anyways, just ideas. There we go. Uh, how much until explode? Uh, I'd say about that many. Target max. And uh, not as many to explode it, please. A little bit more. A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Oh, eat, uh, oh shit. And there. All right, good. And target men. I don't know. There-ish. And then power at the max RPM. Okay, 850 horsepower in this motherfucker. What? This is amazing. More gears. No. Shit. All right. This is great. This is great. I I'm I have a good feeling about this. And by good feeling, I mean I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing, but I know what I'm gonna try. Torsion bar. How much should be? Two? Yes. Damper all the way. Oh shit, Stance Nation. St oh I love it. What have we done? Hold on, let's let's do a test drive. Look at this! Look at this moon buggy! Look it! Tell me that's not cool! It turns well! Shit! What have we invented? What have we invented? I mean, okay, I bet the crew would be dead by now. They'd all have concussions. Look at this shit. And deputies in the chat. Everyone say hi to deputy. Oh, yeah, that's got to be uncomfortable. What an awesome tank. All right. 
All right, so it, it hasn't exploded yet. Now all I have to do is up armor it so it will actually do things. All right, so uh, I'm still employing my classes tank system where one man, you know, up front does everything and then he has an officer behind him who manages his, um, you know, expectations, I guess. Uh, oh, yeah, the gunner needs to see things. That's right. Oops. No, comrade, you will shoot it where I point. But, commissar, my eyes, they are tired. I will whip your eyes. All right, let's see. Let's make the thing armored. More armor. Okay, that's all the armor. Shit. Oh shit. Right, I gotta slowly get this up to the correct armor. You should set your YouTube main page for uploads. Alright, I'll do that. YouTube's been fucking around on the back of the main page, and I hate to say this, but on any fucking day, if I stream or don't stream, announce or don't announce, the best I could pull, even at my peak, for Text Talks Battletech is about 2,000, but anything else like five, 600. And a lot of people don't get to see my shit, uh, don't get notifications or what have you. So anything I can do for you guys that are like always checking back manually and trying to help me out, I appreciate. Um, I'll look into that because they've also changed my page a few times and I feel like I'm going crazy because sometimes I'll be like, wait, it wasn't like that. And then there will be like this YouTube video where it's like, hi, I'm so-and-so at YouTube. And let me tell you about this new feature. It's double plus good. And I'm like, eh, no, don't like Vito, you know? All right, so this is called Project B. Let's see how it is now that it's got armor on it. Buggy! Dun da da! This thing still hauls. Like, look. Oh man. Let's go over that trench. All right, I think I can take this into the scenario. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, we're ready to box now. Dude, this is gonna be Bumble Tonk? Bumble Tonk? Bumble Tonk? All right, let's do that. Let's go into, uh, let's see. Yeah, we need to get into the back in the sandbox and rename that shit. I like Bumble Tonk. I, I think that's great. Oh, um, okay, where was it? Uh, no. What? I saved it. Shit. Didn't save. God damn it. I'll have to remake it. Fuck. Don't worry. Hey, you guys want to see something else? Bumble. Okay, so, you know what? We'll make a fresh up tank called Bumble Tank, okay? We're going to make Bumble Tank. That's, that's going to be our next thing. But let me show you some of these. Oh, autosave? Is it the autosave? Yes, it is. Okay, yes. Bumble Tonk. All right, cool. But here, you guys want to... Yeah, thank... No, no. Thank God. Thank God you guys pointed that out because I'm really dumb sometimes. And sometimes I know think good. And so, yeah. Save. Yes. Overwrite. All right, you want to see this other tank I made? Check this out. All right, so I made this called the Andale. Uh, it's, it's basically designed to be a 40k style APC, right? So, uh, you wanna see this? You guys ready? Cause I think this shit is metal as fuck. All right, check this out. Fifty one? Look at that thing. And it turns on a dime.
Oh yeah, we, I was driving this around like drifting. So it's just sanic fast. And just drift and turn and then instantly accelerate to like 50. Pretty fucking bitchin', I think. Let's see, what's our top speed? Let's find out. Fifty three, fifty four. Will she do fifty five? Oh, please go fifty five. But then I can hit the brakes. Flip around and then just instantly take off again at full fucking tilt. So I was thinking that this is like a modular tank platform, right? I just wanted to make a, you know, like a GT tank, right? Because there's got to be like a grand touring version of everything these days. So this is like a grand touring tank, right? So here's, here's the thing is I, I did that and then I was going to show you my horrible steampunk tank we made. The Maslow. Welcome to City 17, but like 1916, right? Look at this thing. I am taller than the trenches! A tank from a more gilded age, you know? Now, it's standing room only, right? It's not very fast. It's it's geared really low. And needless to say, I'm probably sure this is like an inline 12. But I, I just <laughs> I love that it has this like long, thin 40 millimeter gun. So it's like super high velocity 40 mil. And uh, this can climb modest slopes at reasonable pace, right? It's it's not a really cursed tank design. It's not terrible, but this is World War One thinking, guys, you know? It it just it's train wheels. I designed it to be shapes and train wheels. I wanted it to look like it was struck out of a die. So that was that was one of my cursed tank designs. But uh in the BPL I wasn't able to sleep. And so we made this. Uh, <laughs> it's called the Marseille uh, Mallard, um, and it's it's inspired by a duck. It's not great, but you know it's it's kind of fun. And I, I I think I think that that's really what you need to keep in mind is is some tanks just need to be fun. So here's what we're going to do is we're going to get back to the scenario and we're going to see if we can beat this ambush and then we're going to see what we can learn. You know, we got to learn, we got to get hurt to get back up, right? So Bomble Tonk right here, survivor escape. Combat! I've played World of Tanks. I know that your job is to drive backwards so you get stuck. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, they already got my number. Fuck this shit. All right, here we go. Toe to toe with the enemy. Bumble Tonk engages enemy forces. Colorized. Please crank that turret for the love of Christ. Oh, please. We are in trouble. Drop the gun. Drop the gun, boys. Boys? Boys? Gentlemen? Anytime. Gentlemen? By hand, please, for the love of God. Anytime, jo guys, they got our number here. Okay, they're still too high. Come on, work the gear. There you go. That wasn't so, oh my God, it's slipping. Why did I opt for the long boys? All right, here we go. I have to keep nudging the gas. Oh, this is hell. This is hell. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on.
Be gone! Oh shit, I fucked him up. Alright, here we go. 12 seconds. I have to tank these motherfuckers for 12 seconds. God, I feel like the Merrimax captain. No. I'm leaving! Huzzah! I may be- I am making a speedy escape. No. You have not deterred my vigor, sir. I shall give unto you broadsides. Ha <laughs> ha! I have run up the battery on you. Be gone, thought. <laughs> ah, yes. His weakness was being a bitch. All right, forward. My tank is greatest because there's only two men in it. One very overworked man trying to fetch shells and drive and be on the radio and engineer stuff and all that. And then a guy who yells at him. The guy who yells at him doesn't handle anything. He just does stuff. His job's to sit in the back and be like, ride a bit. Ride a bit more. A little bit. Yeah, you got it. It's a very- it, it, it's a tank that says a lot about society and in, in the- in this culture of ours that we've just invented. But it seems like they can't stop us because we're made out of nitromethane and awesome. So, leave me alone. Be gone! Nope. Can't get me. Your gun's a weak old man. Oh, you brought a big boy. Alright. Let us see if we shall play ball in this horrible... What is this? What is it? I smell... Oh no, I start sliding down the hill. Side armor's a little softer. No, 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 no. Get out of my way. No. Am I being detained? Didn't think so, bitch. I win. Mm. I will carry this day. See? That's how you do it. You just do it stupid. Huzzah! Oh shit. Alright. Yeah. Dude, look at that. This thing is fucking great. What a great tank. Alright, so now we have to quit to the main menu. Huh. Oh. And then I have to go into the, uh, scenarios. And the third one is called Dunes. All right. Well, that's a movie I've seen recently, and I'm going to see again probably tonight. So, let's see. What is the biggest one I can take? Oh, my God. Like, I, ca I can make an absolute unit? All right, cool. What is the biggest thing they will let me make? What is my limitation, gentlemen? What is my, what is my absolute limitation? If you allow me to make things, I'll- okay. 90 tons? Interwar 90 tons? <laughs> oh no. Oh yeah. Alright, so here we go. I've got some ideas. Dun dee 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 dee. Uh, yeah. Projecto Grande. Yep, here we go. All right, I need to come up with something that's big. Has to be big. All right, well, I ain't got time for any of this half punching shit. I'm gonna put that in there. Long boy is long. Can I do 20 meters? No, 10? What's what's the max here? So I put in 12, it'll take off. All right, whatever. Okay, so that's 63 tons right there. Okay, this, this is, this is, Mm. So wait, all turret design. All turret design, huh? All tur like a T twenty six maybe. All right, you're on. No problem. No problemo. I can do that. I can design the shit out of a tank. 
All right, there we go. I'll turn it. No, no. Ooh, ah, n -n -n, no, thank you, Cthulhu. Not today. Not today, Mr. Cthulhu. No, thanks. All right, that's just non-Euclidean nightmare fuel. Let's just put that back there in the realm of reality. Ah, yes. There we go. There we go. And then we're going to just fix all of this here. You know what? Fuck it. I can do this all manually. Why am I hating this? I learned how to do AutoCAD. God damn it. All right, so... uh, No? All right. All right. Yes, Chonculon. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm getting ideas. I'm getting ideas. I'm getting ideas. All right. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. Yes. 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 All right. Here's what I got. Here's what I got. <clears throat> okay. I got an idea. Okay. We got to go big, right? All gun. All gun. All gun. I'm just going to keep thinking that. I, that's your mantra right now. If you're out there and you want to help me right now, it's just all gun. It has to be all gun. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to we're gonna put this motherfucker here. I'm thinking more like destroyer turret, you know? All right. Torque. All the torque in the fucking war. Oh, wait. We have to make this inner war shit. All right. There we go. Inner war, right? Oh, yeah. All gun. Yeah, we're going to do this. And base mantlet? No. Okay. Uh, we're going to call this... Um, let's do, like... I don't know. It's inner war, so 200 millimeter. Um, yeah, that'll actually fit in the turret. I think. Yeah, the problem is the hole's too baby dick to... Yeah, all right. Here we go. We just gotta get on that and raise it up a little bit. Yep, yeah, all turret. All turret. All turret. All turret. Look at this. Look at this majestic beast. Yes. That's no. Let's not let's not do that. Yeah, this is this is like a battleship turret now. This is amazing. One moment. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that to the armor. I just want them to have something horrible to shoot at up top. This is a very cursed uh, tank design. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I'm digging that. I am digging that all day. All right, let's go ahead and take this turret and uh, pull that note. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Let's tailor the edges in a little bit. Yeah, this this looks fucking crazy. I love it. See, triangles are really big in our company. Our, our great grandfather in the Great War believed in triangles. You know. Oh, move all your crew to the turret. That sounds horrible. It's all like being driven by linkages. Ugh. What a horrible fucking existence. So yeah, two hundred mil. Let's go with the big... Oh, it's too big for the fucking hole. You'll break it, Tex. Boo. All right. Yeah, we're just shooting destroyer stuff at things. All right, so let's see. Um, uh, barrel. Let's just go with this. Yes. <laughs> You have been chosen by Triangulon, the mighty. I will destroy you. And then... This is going to be great. This is going to be fantastic. I love this fucking gun. And I, I think it's almost balanced. Right there. God, what a beast of a gun. It has like a cyclops sight right in the middle. I see you. God, that would be terrifying. Just have it broadcast and be yelling at people the whole time. This is a good tank. Once we get out of Projecto Grande, we need to come up with something other than a code name for it, right? It needs to have, like, 
a good a good code name that's not crap. Like the crew has to have a name for it that's like affectionate, I guess. Uh, let's set the idle at like eight hundo target max. Uh, yeah, that seems about right. And let's say power adds three thousand. Okay, it's not got a lot of horsepower, but uh, I don't know. It's gonna have it's gonna have two of these little little ones though, because it's got a pathetic tiny little engine there. And it's just that not really a big engine. All right, so we have a problem and that the suspension is laughable at best, but I just kind of want to drive out with it anyways. So let's let's just give it let's just give it the old college try and see if we can operate this weird monstrosity of a tank that the enemy is going to confuse with like some cult shit. Which Deputy can tell you. I mean, he and I are experts at dealing with it. By the way, the last episodes are in the works. The last episodes of that are in the works. It's gonna be like fucking cool. I'm gonna give him two. Uh, I'm gonna give him two radio sense just because I want him to like hear s sounds all at once. I want him to hear the sounds of the cosmos from his psychedelic tank. Oh, it needs anti-infantry measures, of course. Yeah, man. Now that's some next level shit. Yeah. Sneak up on me, bitch. This is great. What a great tank. This is going to be fun. It's going to be loud, but let's let's see. Uh That's a test camo, I guess. Oh, there's a World War One camo. All right, cool. Let's drive it. Ah, yes. We seem to have a locomotive issue. We seem to have crushed our suspension. So, we need to fix it. Because it's 61 tons, and I want to make at least 69 tons. I think that would be... Nice. At least. Um, I might I might go with actually something practical, so a little bit. Oh yeah, this is a sand dune thing. And uh I'm gonna need a suspension that won't be destroyed. Please Oh wow, you can make like little mini cooper sized oh that's embarrassing. Alright, let's let's try this. Let's try this. All right. All right, there we go. What a tank. All right, so we have a problem. This is a 200 millimeter gun. This is like naval ordnance. So it's he's probably got like a bag he has to put in there. <laughs> oh my god. It's like, hold on, we're lining a shot up. Looking at bouncing. That is not good. That is not good. Alright, so here, hold on, hold on. Let's just wait until we pull the trigger and see what happens. Are we ready? Alright, didn't tip. So it's good enough for the next phase of design, which is I need to put the biggest motherfucking engine I can in it. Because if this is really fast, it will be really funny to me. Uh, no, I don't want that. I want more displacement. Alright, you know what? I'll make this weird. I will make this weirder as a tank, by far. I'm gonna make it in line. There we go. Yeah, I'm gonna make it in a little bit. No? Fuck. It's alright, we'll make it work. I know how to make things work. I'm a tankist. Oh, look at this. It's so much better now. Oh, this looks like a child's drawing of a tank. This looks like a child's 
rendition of a tank. Like, if you're like, your kid comes up to you and is like, Daddy, I drew you a tank. That's what this looks like. It. This is exactly what's in my mind. It's got machine guns all over it. It's just a bunch of shapes. <laughs> Oh my god. Yes. This is... This is so... Fucking great. Oh, it's a Weeman was. <laughs> Alright. Time to armor it. Armor. Alright, it needs all the armor done to man. All right, it's at 84 tons. The turret is, yeah. I mean, we, this is gonna be fucking amazing. This is this is gonna be a great tank. This this is the worst fucking thing. I can't believe if we can make this work, we have cursed history, guys. And I'll be proud to say I helped. But my God. All right, look, look. We have to keep in line with our theory because our theory was so brilliant last time. So. I'm afraid to say the class system is back. <laughs> Look at all that room we saved. All right, so we're going to have to move all the ammo out of the turret because that's where it needs to be. I don't want that guy stooping around carrying these, like, 90-pound rounds. That would be horrible. Right, let's say 90 of those now because they're each the size of, like, fucking smokestacks. All right. Yeah, 45 and 45. There we go. They all fall to giant hardball. There's one very, very overworked man in the hull. This is, you know what? Let's put them both in the turret. That way they can be together. <laughs> Just standing one guy behind the other, breathing on him like, Hey, you missed. Ugh. Oh, this is so cursed. All right, let's, let's get in there. Someone, you know, I had a thought the other day. And the thought was kind of weird, but I realized uh, the more I talk and say things out there, the cursed ideas that I come up with and then inflict on others, th someone's going to just animate or draw it. And when that happens, I will just have to start laughing because it's going to be one of these things out of context, you know. And it, it'll be like me rambling about tank nonsense while someone else is trying to have a normal conversation. <laughs> All right, so don't worry about it. This is a great tank, swell tank, number one tank, favorite tank of all time. Let's just go ahead and try it. Oh, driver must be in the hull. Well, that's lame. Look, I want him to have to use really, really long ropes to pull stuff. And that's breaking my immersion. <sighs> all right. I guess this can be a three-man tank. The indulgences I give these people. Ugh. All right. I hope your arms don't get tired. You peasants want everything. All right, there we go. You know what? No. I... <laughs> The commander gets uh, the the full amount of size. You gentlemen, no, you can have three quarters of a commander's amount of air. That's how I rectify that. Oh, you wish more people? No, genteel age. I'm a strike breaker. <laughs> okay, what else can I do? Engine is big. It says it's gonna be slow because it's all the armor in the world. Uh, engine should work just fine. Transmission, gotta bump that up. Six front, six back. This thing is gonna be great. Alright, I don't think I'll ever need that much fuel unless I'm making, like, a Michael Bay movie. And I know we talk a lot of shit about Michael Bay. It, there's not, there's not a lot of hate toward the man. The man knows how to make big, explody movies real good. It's just, I, I use the reference of, like, Michael Bay as... Hollywood's like, yeah, just blow everything up. Who cares about a plot? Just blow it up. 
But, I mean, I couldn't make a movie like he could. The guy's a master at what he does. Like, if, if you don't have anyone else with a script or anyone else who will do it, and you're like, hey, Michael Bay, blow something up. He's like, motherfucker, I got you. He's that guy you go to. He's, he's like the canon films approach, and it's fucking brilliant. It's, it's commonly called the, like, Roger Corman School of Film. It's kind of interesting to look at. Where's my little grab points here? I'm trying to... There we go. All right. Let me move that up just a smidge. Move that back a little bit. There we go. Freeing up some room. This will be a fine tank. I just got to work out some of the issues, like it crushing its own tracks and the crew. Don't worry about it. I'm just going to call this the Mark II. It'll be the same thing. I just got to keep selling it to them. Um, and then I'm gonna, you know what? Yeah, let's do some fancier shit here. Road wheels. There we go. Multiple sets of them road wheels. Oof, there we go. Nice. All right, so enhanced suspension, Projecto Grande. Let's try it out. Ah, yes. The up arm ring has had no effect at all. Yes. The F arm ring has had no effect on our tank. Alright, so people were taking bets of how fast it would do in miles an hour, and I regret to inform you that on level ground, of its own accord, the answer of how many miles an hour it can do is not. It can do not miles an hour. It is settling in, I think, at 0.54. However, there's a slight incline ahead, and I believe that the slight incline may impede our forward velocity. This is this is something you would measure its progress in chain. You would measure its movement across the land like glaciers. Imagine this, though. Imagine a tank that moved at that speed all day with fresh infantry advancing behind it. Imagine that. Like, I, I think that would be that would be pretty fucking stellar. Is you just have infantry like running behind it the whole time, like using it as cover, and you have a whole wall of them driving forward, right? Bigger drive sprocket, you're right, Deb. Let's do that. I want this thing to be like a tractor. Find me John Deere tractor gearings. I'm going to go off that. I, I I know a lot of tank companies are like, this is our gearing. They're lying. Most of them are lying. <laughs> they never share that shit. They're, they're like, oh, you believe me? How foolish. There we go. Hmm. There we go. I'm reinventing the infantry tank. I think I am. Someone find me a uh, find me a gear progression for like a John Deere. Actually, you know what? Uh, go look at the gear progression for a like a D8 bulldozer. That's that's where you're gonna look. Someone look that up. Someone someone look that up. That's where we're gonna be. And I could absolutely make the Poe in this. It's two shapes. All right, so uh, let's see. Gear one at like fifteen, you think? All right, fuck it. Let's 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 fuck around. We're inventing. We're we're outsiders to the tank design world. We're not General Dynamics land systems. Four eight eight one, huh? Well, let me try it my way and see if this works. Let's see if a stab in the dark works. Because if it does, dumb has one over smart. All right. However, there's an issue. The uh, tank is now overweight. Shit. All right, so so what we're going to do is we're just going to make some design enhancements suitable of our company. There we go. Actually, I had a, I had a, oh, oh. Wait a second. Have I invented something better? Perhaps. Perhaps I just have. Yes, we're going with it. An enhanced turret redesign. Yes. Nobody needs air. 
Yours for losers. You gotta want it. That's what separates the cans from the cannots. The air. Um. Mr. Tex, out of context. Alright, so. Need that radio to get your radiation, sir. There you go. Radio on the corner there, so you have maximum static. This looks even more like something a kid fucking drew, dude. Look at that. Look at it. That is, the, the turret isn't even on the right. This is a child's tank. It's amazing. It's amazing. This is so horribly cursed, but I love it. Right, let's try it out. Oh dear. It appears we have found a flaw. The ground. Alright, 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 alright. We're getting there. We're getting there. Okay. What we need to do next is unfuck the suspension. Now, I've been very dumb in this tank on purpose, and I know there's probably a lot of decent ways to do this. But what I'm gonna do is not do any of those things, and instead do what 40k does. Okay. Just gonna put that down the diameter. Is that as big as it can go? Because I'll just force this fucking nose down. It'll make you do it. Alright, there we go. And then uh right about there. There we go. Tanks work like go-karts. They sure do, Matt Ward. Multi lasers. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. We got some good shit. Oh wow, I can make this a front sprocket? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Alright. Now we're now we're talking. Some good shit. Some good shit. Alright. No, it needs to be as tall 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 boy as po oh wait. Hmm. I like you. Okay, not that. Oh, 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 oh. I, I sense a plan. I see plans within plans. I see plans within plans. All right. Uh, I think it might be colliding on a few of them uh, in there. I, I might have to move them a little bit to not be grinding in that interwoven hell that I've just created. Jesus Christ, what have I done? All right, so, uh, you know what? We're going to air to leave these. We're going to be real fancy. These are even harder to get on, so that's what tank crews like. They they really they really enjoy that a lot. All right, interleave wheels, train wheels at that. Uh, let's go ahead and give her a try. Much better. Look at this thing. Oh no. I've been defeated by my enemy. Up. Damn it. Alright, so anyways, it's it's not it's not an uphill tank yet. Uh but I think I put the sprocket and make it fucking huge. I do rock and roll racing on this bitch. Great old game of yesteryear, man. I've been feeling really nostalgic lately. Playing Diablo, remembering old times with friends, you know. Sometimes you get a little wistful, I guess. All right, let's go ahead and... uh there we go. A little bit of that. Let's have these not intersect those, or they're just interlinked with them. Don't don't worry about it. Look, none of these axles will collide at any point. That's fine. All right, cool. Okay, let's try it now. Here we go. Perfect. All right, let's take it off to war. 
Return. All right. So return to designer. We're going to save it. We're just, you know, we're going to call this uh, Tonk. It's like a child's drawing of a tank. And the enemy will be like, what the fuck does that mean? I'll be like, you'll fucking find out. Fuck around and find out, right? So you go to the main menu. And here we go. And don't worry about the hill part. That's not important. So we're going to go defeat the dunes. We're going to the dunes. Going to the dunes. All right. Let me see. Tonk. There we are. We shall do battle in the dunes. For rivers. Load the naval gun. Ah, they cannot confound me. I have reverse. As long as I don't overheat or get stuck in the sand or a sandworm comes, Shai Hulud, may he pass the cleansing of the way. Keep the maker in his water. All right, so here we go. Yeah, I, so I saw the new dune uh, when I was at a family thing. And it was okay, but I, I'm going to give it a solid like four out of five. But there's some things that I didn't like that I think could have been expanded on. And some of the casting, like, what the fuck? For, like, Duncan Idaho? Yeah. He was not a Duncan Idaho. It was not something I enjoyed. I, I think there's a lot of other people that fit Duncan Idaho far better out there. I think the I think the pacing is is one thing I had a point with. I thought it would be nice to see more of Thufir because he had a actual bigger plot and it could have conveyed a sense of urgency from the Harkonnens actively hunting them down. He could have also been a wonderful fount of knowledge for the universe and a lot of other things, or to talk about Conley and what it means and all of the protocols of revenge. I mean, a lot of things that could have been done better. My crew doesn't need steel suits. They don't go outside. We bolt them in there. Oh, they're shooting at me now. From where? Oh, over on that hill yonder. All right. I'll be with you in a minute. How dare you? Oh, it appears to be blocked. Ah, yes. I seem to have made an error and um, painted over my uh, gun sight. There it is. All right. I guess I have to Cyclops this correctly. It still looks like something a child made. All right. It, it, look, it needs... Oh, what a fine tank it is. I'm going to get more coffee. Don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, my sight's in the gun. I'll see it when I pull the trigger. It'll be like, flash! I'll be back in a minute. Talks amongst yourselves. Here we go. Here we go. All right. Mm. We need to go to war, boys. Forward. This is a great tank. Well, it's a fast coffee because I brewed a whole pot. I have tomorrow off. I can't wait around and do nothing. I'm taking enough time trying to not kill myself, you know, making a tax talks battle tech. And I, I want to make sure that I'm actually enjoying what I'm doing. And every time I try to push myself hard, I find my fan base actually endearingly pushes back and is like, no, not tax. Nah, -uh. did you sleep? 
The answer is usually no, but I am trying, so I, I appreciate this. Man, does this thing turn great, though? Look at this fucking thing. I'm a Chadley tank. What forces array you against mine? I shall strike you down with the force of a thousand bees! Alright, here we go. Sleep is for the week is a good joke. Uh, but it's also a, uh, a good song. It's from that, uh, album. Uh, what's it called? Polka's Not Dead? Kind of, kind of pirate sounding polka music. Kind of different. I listen to all sorts of weird shit. Like, Boat Bomber will ask me about music, and then I'll ask him about music. We'll, we'll have different opinions, but we, like, both overlap on, like, old-school rap kind of stuff. Yeah, the Dreadnoughts. Polka's not dead. Yeah, there might be a Kickstarter. I don't know. Um, my, my arrangement with Catalyst is I get paid to read books, and that's it. Payments, I might note, that uh, actually helped us rebuild the rendering computer. So now we no longer have three days of render hell. So we just dumped it right back into projects. It, it saved us from having to... Uh, saved us from having to really dive into credit. And Mike and I are the kind of guys that don't like asking for handouts. We like to earn our fucking pay, you know? We, we don't like just somebody saying, oh, have this. We're like, no, we must earn it. And this allowed us to make money, so it was nice. I don't know why this sounds like a lawnmower. I don't know what the sound is with this game. I wish they had something meteor sounding. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. The apocalypse is about to begin. This motherfucker doesn't know it. Hold on, here we go. Here we go. Oh, nice tank, motherfucker. Where is, where'd it go? Where the sh- <laughs> He just shot over his head with this giant ass shell and he's probably crapping his pants. Yeah, it does sound like a lawnmower. They may be trying to convey, they may be trying to convey the tank's uh, little engine that they use for traversing a turret. A lot of tanks had like little two-stroke engines to uh, move the turret around. So I'm just running in reverse for the minute while my guys try to move the shell hoist. <laughs> My god. My armor's pretty good, though. I'll say that much. Alright, motherfucker, let's do this. 14 seconds? No, not enough time. Yar! I will cast a spell. The spell is called Delito. Be gone, thought! Oh my god, it did nothing! Look at that, it just put a giant fucking imprint! Look at that! What is that door made out of? What the fuck is that door made out of? That's amazing! This is great! I mean, do you see that? That was, that was, okay. You know what? I, I'm just like blown away. Point blank. Just bonk. Puts a dent. What is that door made out of? What is that door made out of? I need to re-engineer this gun. My boys can't compete. We need to go in the opposite direction. We need to go small, but very high velocity. Yes. 48 mils of penetration. No, more. More penetration. There we go. Yes. Now we're cursed. All right, so let's just up this a bit. Yeah, I'd get a long boy here. There we go. All right, so that's a balanced gun technically. <laughs> All right, so no, that's not gonna work. All right, let's let's take it down to you know what? Let's let's stick with our theme, sixty-nine millimeters. Go ahead and say it. There's a two thousand kilo kiloweight on it, or uh, counterweight on it. Dude, Jesus. All right, let's bring that gun back down. Or we could do that. We could do this. This 
This could be this could be the option. This could be the option. I mean, we could just have the tiny little snub nose like gun. I mean, this could be great. This could be really fun. All right, let me let me Oh, no, I it couldn't. It no. Gun would be way too big. So, yeah. We would not be able to play the scenario. That sucks. Because I think that'd be really funny. Wait, wait, wait. What if we did a 0 .69? 0 .69. 69 cal, 69 cal. Penetration is 65 mil. Let's see if we can get that, like, up a bit. We can get at least 100 mil uh, 1.69. Let's do that. 1.69, yes, all right, good. And then we do that right there. Oh, God, look at that bull barrel on that. That is hilarious. This thing's going to be accurate as fuck. All right, why is that penetrate? Oh, God, no, 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 not that. Jesus, let's take that right back down to 6.9. Now, look at that. Oh, God, what a bull barrel. That thing will last forever. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. All right, so ammo. I am I am happy. Not really, I just play it on TV. So here we go. We got a lot of rounds for it. And you know what? I, I think that the commissariat will allot another man in this turret just to hunk ammo. However, this guy is now in charge of the radio, and the driver's job is just to be stepped on. And, and however, the loader only gets a full portion because he works harder. All right, so, and then I just fill the rest with armor. See? I'm not crazy. Just going to add a little bit more armor. Just a little bit more armor there. Don't you worry about it. Okay, what if we just do 100? No. Shit. All right, there we go. We're actually under tonnage. Fuck. Oh, the loader is in the cannon compartment. That's right, the cannon compartment. I, I don't know. All right, let's 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 go ahead and see what the fuck that means. Just one of them little things. Say turret, uh huh, gunner, gunner isn't. Oh yeah, he needs to be in the turret as well. There we go. There we go. I could probably even put a bigger fucking engine in it. Yeah. No. Damn. Fudge. All right. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be. It's gonna be okay. Sixty-nine, sixty-nine. Here we go. Tank time. Wait, look. It's got. It's got little lights that I can't turn on for some reason. I know it's a four foot long shell. It's fun. Look, I can climb mighty dunes of sand. I am a mighty warrior. I am the destroyer of nature. All I surveil is death. And look, I can't even go downhill. All right, boys. I smell fuckery. Er, come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Come on. There you go. No, you are just going to slide down that fucking hill, aren't you? Piece of shit. All right. Let's go this way. Come on. I, I think you might. I think you might. I think you might. I think you might. Don't give up. You can do it. Everyone's watching. I believe in you. Unfortunately, that belief was misplaced. All right, so let's just back away. Have them come to me. Ow. 
Ow. All right. Yeah, FN 5.7s are okay, but if you want a 5.7 gun, like the Ruger 5.7 is like a thousand percent better and half the price, it's like a thousand percent better. And I don't like love Ruger products. I, I think the revolvers are okay. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. And, oh, I knocked this track off. Good day, sir. Good day. Goodbye. Ah, another road pirate. Splendid. I've cut his sails with chain shot. Oh. Wow, they don't know what to do. Holy fuck, it's Tobruk, but just me. Go away. Alright, got him. Here we go. Oh man, we are in shit. We are in shit. All right, there we go. Roll in reverse, full speed. Seems to be working just fine. All right, so there's another one dead. You cannot stop me. I believe in the power of triangles. Oh, man. That guy's fucking gone. Yeah, shoot me. Yeah, bring more friends. I'll kill them, too. There we go. Handle. Gentlemen, I'm telling you, uh, the future is triangles. I cannot be convinced otherwise. Here's the elevation of this thing is not working very well. It's alright. I'll just drive closer. He's really trying. I'll give him that. Oh yes. I'll be with you in a moment, sir. You think they'd give up at this point, right? You think they just give up? All right, let's throw it down. Oh, I forgot the counterweight. That's right. I'm an idiot. All right, well, I, I did get him. Look at that front of that. Fuck you. I'm a wedge. Coincidentally, my favorite salad. And I know that's not really a type of salad. That's like some TGI Friday shit, but it makes me feel fancy. With my limited food options. There, I said it. I was vulnerable on the internet. Boom. All right, here we go. Arr! All right. Oh, I already killed him. All right, one moment. Hey, what do you want? What's your deal? Are you lonely? Do you, do you need... Are you, have, are you out of ammo? Because I'm not. Yeah, that's what I thought. But yeah, if, if you want a 5.7, um, you know, get the Ruger 5.7. There's parts for it. The magazines, they're nice. Everything works. They're reliable. Or, uh, the new kel movie clacker break open P90 for, like, Shadowrun memes. That gun is just dying for a Shadowrun remake. I'm waiting for somebody to come up with, like, an SBR brace or something for it. Because I'll get one. But you know what I just bought, um, that's actually kind of crazy, is I, I watch a lot of gun auctions because I like to, um, 
try to get the bubba up guns away from Bubba's and, you know, restore them to their former glory. I've done that with a few rifles uh, over the last few years. And uh, one of the one of the things that I, I saw at an auction, I shit you fucking not, was a Desert Eagle, Israeli made Desert Eagle and 44 Magnum from the Matrix era of that of the of the Desert Eagles. And it was unmolested, unbubbed, un anything. So I bought it. Um I, don't worry, I'm not going to be like making that an everyday carry, but I, I thought it would be nice to rescue a meme gun before someone, you know, does something to it. And I, I thought it would be nice to have that kind of brief movie period moment that was like late I, late 80s, early 90s movies where they were like, yeah, the Desert Eagle's a sidearm. And <laughs> then just you put it in the action hero's hands and it's all imposing. So, uh... Uh, yeah. Would I like a Dom Perignon vintage nineteen sixty one? It would be wasted on me, sir. I'm I'm a guy who's got like beer tastes. I like whiskey and stuff. Um I'm uh I'm uh I'm a simple guy. I'm I'm not like anything special. I I'm easy to please for the most part. I I like I like what I like. It's it's kinda weird, you know, thinking about it, it's just like in the BPL, it got coaxed out of me in a stream or something about my ex, and then that became like a battle tech meme because we just leaned into it, and then it's kind of weirdly persisted. And it's kind of strange, but wholesome. I mean, I I did say on the podcast that I find it strange, but I I'd meant to say wholesome, and I wanted to try to just say that you know, it was wholesome. So uh, appreciated. I, I think it's funny. People are like, we want to get you a girlfriend. And I, I don't think that's what it is. I think people just want to have a minder that they can control in my house. Who's like, go to bed early. You know, and just like beats me with a broom or something. Anyways, what is this called? Silent border? Cross the border. What is this? Do we need to start? Okay, there's an 88. And some hedgehogs. So is this like Medal of Honor shit? All right, let's see how, let's see how big we can build. And we'll go to the tank test arena and we'll break things. All right. Okay, so above, okay, okay, above 50 tons. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Got it there. Uh huh. No, <laughs> accordion tank. <laughs> and then, like, blood comes out. All right. Uh,. See. Oh my god, they're letting us build as big as we can. Are you are you smoking the crack? This is gonna be great. Alright, how 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 big? Oh, alright. Okay. Oh, hundred tons. Hundred tons. One hundred tons. Yeah, alright. We can do this. 100 tons of fury coming right the fuck up. Time for coffee! Also, I'm doing a terrible job streaming. I'm just tired. So, if, if you guys, like, got another stream you want to go watch with some higher uh, energy, by all means. I'm just here relaxing. Um, feeling kind of anxious. In, in all in all honesty, because it's like I'm not as far along in a lot of the projects I want to be in because I'm trying to balance like YouTube and everything else and all the projects I want to do and I'm supposed to be working on a lot of things with a lot of people, but I'm like massively overcommitted and then I feel bad letting people down and then imposter syndrome sets in and then you're like, am I a failure? And then you're like, ah! And then you go to therapy and then it all starts over again. So, yeah. Um, sorry if I seem a little down. It's just... Little curve in the road, uh, but I'm I'm trying to pick myself back up, and I'm trying to find the little. There it is. There's the little thing. All right, we're gonna build some Fort Schmerzen shit. There we go. Yeah. Yep. 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 All right. Here we go. Dumb. We're going to make stupid. All right. So we need to make the biggest tankest tank we can. I want something that evokes dread. I, I want the enemy to look upon my works, ye mighty, in despair. I want them to be frightened. And I don't need a turret to do it. I do not need a turret to frighten the enemy. 
Turrets mean nothing to me. All right, so let's go ahead and start with the tracks because they're going to have to be jive fucking normas. They could be really, really thin. Hmm. How do I know if I'm in the BPL, a man asks. Well, sir, uh, the way this works is there is the BPL, which is uh, the group that's in the hidden secret discord. And there are ways to get in. That is the inner circle, as it were. That is where I spend my time. And quietly so. So it's my little sanctity. And it is very closely guarded. But uh, there is also a outpost in the uh, Everything Battletech Discord. Which is like a little unofficial BPL bastion. Which uh, I suppose was David Vivas uh, giving me... Uh, a thank you for uh, helping support his drive to keep everything Battletech going. And so, uh, you know, I'm just sitting there trying to enjoy my interaction where I can, but I'm largely a private person, if that makes any sense. Um, I just try to, like, be myself. In Casagill, uh, the mods choose who they want to interview. I don't run the... Uh, Community. The community actually elects its own leaders and does everything else. I am a figurehead. I am a... That group has maintained itself. Because I, I need to concentrate on, like, you know, not going crazy. So it's a, it's a big job, you know? But thank you guys for the votes of confidence. But yeah, if you have any questions, just don't overwhelm me because I don't want to have to like roll over and scroll up and down and then fuck things over. But uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer as best I can because it's just a late night comfy stream. Oh, why is it? Oh, no. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look, look at it. What are we doing now? I've invented something new. I'm interested in this design. Hmm. No feet pics. I'm, I, believe me, if things went really bad, I'd just disappear into the woods somewhere. I, I'm not that. I'm not the kind of person who's gonna do an OnlyFans. I've I've thought about uh, when my um, <clears throat> Thompson uh, gets out of uh, its uh, current form status uh, that I will I will gladly perhaps do a walkthrough of the Thompson submachine gun uh, of which I am quite intimately familiar a lot of personal experience with Thompson's I did a lot of World War II reenactment uh, Steel if you've sent it resent it and and write down your uh, write down your uh name you want to go by and I'll throw it in the folder I've just been backed up like three months by email I'm still 150 emails behind but I'm trying to read and respond to every single email I, I don't have a secretary or anything I, I just I, I do like to do a lot of things myself whether that's healthy or sane I don't know but I'm kind of a traditionalist I know it's probably not healthy but I'm trying to do my best here I know, it, it's probably not enough for everybody, but... Uh, yeah. There we go. That looks... That's looking promising. I love this. This looks awful. My opinion on just war is... You should probably see... Okay, let, let, me, let me put it to you this way. If you watch very closely with Text Talks Battle Tech, if um, if you watch very very closely, you'll see I I do I do the weird history teacher thing where he thinks he's hip or cool, and I hide a lot of things, a lot of lessons in Text Talks Battle Tech, and some are far less subtle than others. I, I'm not an incredibly clever man. I'm just an average dude. But, and, and the, 
and as you, as you can tell, I, I have like a natural stutter. I, I have a few other things that, you know, when I'm live, it's, it's easy for me to read a script, for instance, but this is just kind of raw and there's emotion and all that other stuff. But, uh, and also autism, like I'm autistic as fuck. So it's, it's just one of those things of like social bad, but that being said, it's, hmm, I'm sitting there trying to figure out what I want to do with these idlers. I'm really, I mean, I'm kind of digging this racetrack design. I think it's, I think it's dumb. But no, uh, Just War Theory. Now, you can, um, I hid a pretty good explanation of the Hobbesian Leviathan in the middle of the, uh, Amerith Civil War Part 1 and Part 2. Um, in fact, I took the block print, or I had Mike take the block print of the Hobbesian Leviathan from Leviathan, um, and we put Kerensky's face on it. Like, that's a lesson or a hint. Um, so it's it's one of those things where I, I love putting little lessons and sprinkling them in where I can. So if you want to look at Just War Doctrine, I, I do kind of go into an interesting diatribe or eight in and throughout this series but I plan on getting into it with a reunification war whenever I get into that so I, I could explain my my belief in just war but it is from a historical perspective on a moral ethical perspective I would say I'm way not qualified um, I'm just an every man but there's a lot to be said about a nation when it, when you really kind of start to examine it, but as most people know, I'm not really a political guy, and I don't have much to say on it. I just prefer people to make up their own minds, and I would feel awful if people relied on me to make an opinion. Awful indeed. Oh yeah. There we go. Now we're in full stupid. I like it. Uh, Chris Dobbs, it depends on which. Uh, my go-between is a guy who delivers every so often. If I could design my own battle mech, what would it be? Um, I would like... I don't know. I, I like a lot of the classics. I do like I do like a lot of the mm, I don't like that at all. There we go. I like a lot of the classic mechs. Um, I know some of those are Robotex and some of them aren't and what have you. Um, but I also like a lot of the newer takes on them. And mother of God, what is this abomination? All right, we are going into uncharted territory, ladies and gentlemen. Behold my creation. Behold. Be okay, hold on. Let's let's give it a try. Let's give it a try and see how terrible it is. That's why we test this shit in the dark, right? That's what that's why they test all that shit in the dark. Nobody wants to see the stealth bomber just fall out of the sky, right? It's it's like bad. Alright, let's let's just uh, Oh, it must be under a hundred tons. Sorry, this thing is enormous. Okay. Okay, fine. Yeah. Alright, we'll just flatten it a bit. Oh my god, what are we making? This is amazing. All right. <laughs> we are here to sneak through the woods! We are the sneaky tank! This thing is horrible. All right, so I need to redesign some things, but I got some ideas. I got some ideas. It's a bit chonky, so I'm gonna make... I'm gonna go back to the origins of our tank company. They will be long and they will be thin. That is the origins of this tank company. It got us through the Great War. It got us through the eight wars we started after that because we really didn't know what we were doing. And this Republic stuff is hard. And then the Second Empire and the Fourth Republic. And okay, look, we did a lot of Republics, but anyways. So, is is a very bad monarch and is the very definition of why power should not rest in one person's hands. I, I, I'm just going to say this. We need to return to tradition on this tank. We need to go back to the stupid years. We need to embrace 
the dumbness of our forefathers here. That's what we need to do. Embrace the stupid. We're just going to go. Okay, Sprocket, no. We need to move you up there. And then you need to be huge. Yes, we are going. We are going and going. Uh, what is my opinion on 3D printing firearms outside of legal issues? I object to it. Um, I don't like the idea of 3D printed guns. I, I like the idea of craftsmanship. I like I like working with my own hands and forging something and that sense of control and knowing that, you know, it's not just something any computer can shit out, but it's something my hands made. It's mine. Flaws in everything. Every imperfection mine. I would rather that. Because if there's a hundred things that are the exact same, sure, you could say the designer was a genius, sure. But at that point, it becomes as meaningless, I guess, as an appliance. My relationship with firearms is more of their artistry. And as someone who has gunsmithed and in the past as a, as a professional and at current as an amateur and by appointment only, I, I find that it's, it's quite abhorrent. It's quite abhorrent to find that craftsmanship is on the downslide in, in replace for just mass-produced stuff that has no sense of soul. And so, like, when, when my friends gave me shit for buying a Glock, because I was a revolver guy and had been forever, I bought a Glock because I wanted to craft my own version of the Glock. And with a Glock, you can do that. It's Legos, and that's fun. That's, you know, that's, that's what you do with a Glock. And I, I had a really good time doing that, but... I, I find a lot of things very inherently dispos disposable feeling, one size fits most philosophy, and that hand fitting and craftsmanship, while well, a motherfucker to recreate, because, you know, you you slip something with hand craftsmanship, and fuck, you've probably, yeah, you've, you've, you've fucked that up forever. I mean, there will be defects you can't get over, and I understand why all that, but I don't know. Kind of a kind of a FUD in some aspects, so I, I fully expect people to give me shit. I, and I'm not like a master craftsman. I, I don't want anyone to ever think that. I, I'm not a firearms expert. I will never claim to be one. I, I am just a guy who's worked on a few guns, and I, I have some opinions because I know a bit of history, but I always want you guys to go out and, you know, like, actually double-check shit and don't just take people's word for it. I'd rather you be a skeptic than a fool, you know? Because you can recover from being the skeptical guy and being like, I don't know, that sounds like a bullshit. And then, you know, eh, I don't know. Choose a hill to die on, I guess. All right, I'm going to drink some more coffee. Now, if I had a bajillion dollars, I'd absolutely like start up my own gun company. I, I would make a I would make a thirty out six, or just a long base like thirty out six a mil Mauser or something like that. I'd, I'd do like a milled monolithic block, like Browning homage kind of gun. I'd want to make it kick brass out the bottom, like a Ithaca or any of the uh, Maxims. I would love to have just something like that in 4570 with like a cut style compensator 20 round box mag just <laughs> oh man like that that it gets me excited and if you put a g3 style like buffer and like the or the hk21 buffer in that you could actually iron it out pretty well and then we could do like roller delay blowback because memes <laughs> oh man ah oh. Favorite historical military blunder? Uh, I'm going to say... Hmm. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. There's quite a few. Favorite, though... Well, I would say underestimating the U.S. Navy in the Revolutionary War. Uh, circa 1 Captain John Paul Jones. A uh, 20 mil receiver with a box mag. Well, the problem is that would be a destructive device, so that would be a whole other manufacturer, and that's pff, no. You don't want that kind of scrutiny, bud. You really don't. 
it's it's best uh it's best uh certain things mind your own business that's what i do all right so here's what we're gonna do i'm gonna put the uh 100 mil in there so it's it's no sorry 90 mil very basic very simple we're gonna put uh, i think 50 rounds at each that seems reasonable All right, and then let's see. I mean, I would say the uh, the battle the battle of Oscarborg uh, Fortress is pretty up there. You know, Germans just thinking like I can Oscarsborg Fortress. Rather, my apologies, but um, yeah, you 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 have some Germans who roll up and they're like, yeah, uh, Norway, uh, we're here to uh, take over, and the Norwegians are like. Yeah, I'm sorry, we're a sovereign nation and we don't accept. And the Germans are like, you better accept. And they're like, no, no thank you. And uh, then, you know, you have the Blucher and all this other invasion fleet roll up. And they're like, we're just going to prance in and take the show. And then they found out that, like, an old retired man who'd been brought back to service and a bunch of cadets plus some Krupp guns equals a shooting gallery. <laughs> they fucking sink that thing and the Germans are like, brr. <laughs> It's it's like Looney Tune shit. I love it. Why you sink my boats? Because you brought them. Go home. Ugh. All right. So this is not the smartest tank I've ever designed, but I've never designed a smart tank. So, yeah. You know, I'm gonna make these a little bit thicker. There we go. We're gonna give it a little bit more teeth. Look at them teeth. That'll take fingers off. I like it. I think Fort Drum was a great fucking idea. Fort Drum was an amazing fucking idea because even though it was outclassed and really old by the time people needed it, it kicked fucking ass. I mean, it was it was a mother to try to get anybody out of, and I was like, God, yeah, that's what you want. Bring back stupid fortifications. I want giant castles. I don't care if we're at war in, or anything. I just... I just want castles. I mean, I'm down deep down. I'm like a five year old, you know, very, very basic, very, very basic, easy to please. All right. So we need some sneaky camo. Uh, well, it looks like the dark. It's not no forest. What is this? Was this a watermelon? Is that a fucking watermelon. Ah, yes. The sneaky watermelon is coming to... Ah, yes. Stealth. Alright, here we go. Here we go. We got to cross. All right, here we go, boys. Ow. No. Uh-oh. Oh, dear. Oh, no. He shot the wheel off. However, it seems to be otherwise impenetrable. All right, so we know. All right, so we know, we know. It's also very dark out, so what we need to do is to make up for the dark and also to give the commander something to do, because he felt left out, and then he's going to be like, but I want to have buttons, and I'm like, okay, weirdo. All right, there we go. I don't want to not be able to see, you know? It's all in the dark, but fuck it. All right, here we go. 
We're gonna have we're gonna have some lamp. Who loves lamp, by the way? Everybody love lamp? That's good. Alright, so we got some lights. We got some lights on the front, that's good. Alright, so the commander has a thing, he knows what to do. Oh yeah, I'm gonna give the commander uh you know what? Here, this'll be fun. I'll 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 put these I'll put yes. The commander has his own little turret up here. It's a command turret, you know, it's um it's commander's privilege to have his own turret. It's to uh, you know, strafe the enemy, I guess. Alright, so let's go ahead and try to drive this thing. Alright, here we go. Yeah. All right, boys. Shawarma is fucking great. I cannot not like shawarma. Shawarma is good. By the way, I'm just gonna say this out loud. I have no idea what I'm doing, so don't assume I do. But I have a lot of people who write me and they say, Tex, I need advice on this thing. And I'm like, don't listen to me. It's, I, I, I really try to warn people, like, I, I don't have a mystical ball or anything. I cannot gaze into an orb. I wish I could. That'd be fucking awesome. Oh yeah, lights. Aziz, lights! Alright, there we go. Oh yeah. Where's my tank? I'm gonna XCOM creep around this building. Never mind the shaking. What the fuck? It's a hidden AT gun. Oh god. This is bad. Alright. It's a night fight. I should be able to at least blind them, you know? It's a very stealth tank, you know? Alright, so making sure there is no AT gun there. Just in case there's a glitch. God, I can't see shit. This was a bad idea. I have to wait for the flash so I can send him one. All right, there. Right over his head. References to Austro-Hungary. Oh, man, he knocked a hole right through the front of this. Tell you what, send me an email. Uh, my email is theblackpantslegion at gmail.com and write a reference to a history inquiry, and I could probably find you some good uh, sources. Uh, but I would say really concentrate on the Habsburgs. The Austro-Hungarian Habsburgs are going to be your best look into the Austro-Hungarian Empire, at least the latter part of it. Um, but yeah, that's... I would, I would say start there, but if you have a history inquiry or whatever, that's fine. But sometimes people just send me, like, uh, like cat pictures or whatever, or whatever neat thing they're working on. It's kind of cool to see that little slice of people's lives sometimes. All right, so what I need, I think, I think is I need to put a turret on this. It needs a turret. It needs a turret. I, I definitely think it needs a turret. So we're just going to move this... Pull back a little bit. Oh, oh, wait, no. Yes, maybe. All right. Yes. We will we will embrace the memes as it were. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. There. All right, that's it. That's the magic. Yes. Thinner, faster, gunner. That is the idea we're going with. And we're gonna go with this horrible narwhal gun design. Oh, I love it. 
This thing's awful. All right, you know what it is. 69. There we go. That'll do. That'll do. Is it childish? Yes. Do I regret it? No. Here we go. This thing is great. Valerie, Valera. I hadn't seen this thing like pull out of the woods. You'd be like, what the fuck? You'd be like, I'm gonna use dynamite. Go, go, gadget dynamite. Mike, I've disguised this tank as an enormous watermelon. No one will ever know. I can hide in this pasture all summer. Oh yeah, that's right, lights. Aziz! Alright. If I had possession of a fine orb, would I ponder it? I think I would ponder an orb, yes. But it would have to be a fine orb. And I'm very picky on orbs as a wizard. Very picky. I'm a gun wizard, it's different. It's not a minefield. You can't prove it's a minefield. Nobody knows it's a minefield. You gotta get your orb pondering hours in there. Ah, yes. The glare. About there. Uh-huh. There you are. Right over his head. All right. Let's have some fun. It That's right. Oh, God. Oh, no, no, no. No like. It's on now. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for it. Uh huh. Come on, here we go. Got him. There we go. I would love, I would love to make, like have fabricated a fake World War One tank and then like pretend to discover it somewhere and be like, oh no, look at this tank we found. Some guy in rural Illinois made a tank for World War One. He ran a steam boiler shop and then we just make it. That would be kind of cool. I bet the police would be upset, but don't worry about it. Okay, let me just left a little bit. Don't worry about what this abomination is or isn't. Oh, what a nice one. Alright, lights off. I am now in stealth mode. See, that's the secret. Put the lights on and let them shoot you, and then kill them with your sneaky cucumber. See, how cool is that? Uh, Mike's trying to get me to watch Stargate. I've watched a bit of it. Yeah, a lot of MP5s. Where we got to the MP5 part, and then we started seeing the P90s. Oh, oh no! They have a big boy. And a 
I'm on some muddy ground. That's not good. Look at this. Alright, that's it. That's it. There can be only one. And I'm gonna take this Tetris-shaped abomination and jam it up your ass. Alright. Let's see who's the dumbest. <laughs> Let me get on the old periscope and try to bounce one right up in there. All right, boys, blind him. Yeah. What about the cupula? Uh, uh, uh. No, that went right through. Let's see if the driver's wearing his goggles. Pocket sand. Fuck it, let's switch to HE. Fuck it, I'll sue him. Yeah. There can be only one. Got him. That's right, you can fuck right off. Enjoy! I shall entreat myself to a victory spin. No, I won't. It's stuck. Alright, so anyways, uh, let's get back to that main menu. Ramming speed, and that's what it's about. You just need to tank sumo, you know? Tank sumo! Tank sumo. Alright, let's see. What am I going to build? What am I going to build? Ah, yes. Let's go to the scenarios. What's the next one? Silent Border Railway? What is this? Is this from Kelly's Heroes? Because if it's from Kelly's Heroes, I got an idea. All right. What is the objective? Uh, oh, yeah. Non-Euclidean. Excellent. I had my extra armor and my extra dimensions. All right. How big? Oh, my God. This tank is valid? All right. Yes. What can I do? It looks like it's a little bit of cross country, so let's just see how big she can be. I like them large. Here we go. All right, let's just do let's just do box. Let's let's see what kind of shenanigans we can get up to. But it's gonna be a hundred tons. It's early war. It says. Hun Ninety tons. Got it. All right. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Here's here's what we're gonna do. I got I got some ideas. They're not great ideas, but they are ideas. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get that. We're gonna knock that off. We're gonna get this, and then we're gonna abandon all hope. All ye who enter here, we're gonna do some of this. Yeah, yeah, we're doing that. Fuck yeah, we are. We're doing some of that. Okay, yeah, following. You guys following? Doing some of that. Yeah, let's let's put that on a 60 degree slope there. And let's put the, uh, let's see. There we go. Let's do 60, 60, and then let's do uh, 60. No, nah, that's way too severe. So let's go and do 11 and a, uh, yeah, it's all right. No, it's not. God damn it. Uh, let's do nine degrees. Still showing the barbette. Seven degrees? No, still showing five. Fuck it. Just 0, 0.0. We'll just make it straight wall. Jesus. We fucking. All right. So, in here we go. We're going to just put that a little bit forward there. And there we are, right in the middle. Hey, diddle diddle. It's in the middle. Then we're going to do this and that. And then a little bit of. This and that. And then a little bit of this and that. Alright. There we go. See? Shapes. 
It menaces with spikes of dumb. All right, so, yeah, this this will be good. I'm going to build a great tank. Don't you worry about it. All right, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It'll be okay. Now we're just going to make the lower bit a little lower. And we're just going to make it a sharpie, the one there. Yes, we have reached pink tank. Peak tank. Simple, simple design. Very simple. It was designed for a simple people. All right, let's do this, and then let's make it perfectly match up. There we go. What a happy tank. What a happy tank. Look at it. Oh. What a happy, happy boy. All right, let's continue with 69 because that seems to be the way to go. Uh, we're going to make it a thick boy, and we're going to make it the longest barrel we can, and then we're going to put just the massivest counterweight we can, and then we're going to put it there, and we're going to put that there. There. All right, good. Yep, 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 there we go. Mm-hmm. We're going to stay true to our uh, humble family origins. Now, in the hull, I'm going to put no ammo. In the turret, I'm going to put all the ammo known to man. There we go, 300 rounds. It's a tank that's designed to hold the line. And boy, howdy will it. It's just going to be a bitch to get into. There we go. There are some hatches. These are, these are hatches to get the ocean of ammunition into these things, you know? And this is, uh, this has got to be an unpleasant tank to work on. People sliding down it all the time, you know? All right, stowages? Yeah, it needs some stowages on it. I mean, tanks gotta have stowages. That's just, that's just what tanks gotta have, right? This is always my favorite part of putting together Lehman Russes before I decided not to ever give parasites money again. Oh, man. That was a good decision. And there we go. And here we go. We're just going to go ahead and put that there. Need some lights, you know, just to be cheerful. Got some little tail lamps there. All right, we need some giant fucking stacks, man. Oh shit, no, I clicked the wrong button. I need smonk. That's what I need. Yes. Oh yeah, here we go. There we go. Yeah. See, it's gonna be great. Don't worry that these aren't, like, perfectly symmetrical or whatever. Surely that won't drive people crazy. Surely. So anyways. I'm just gonna put one of these here and one of those there. Why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's good. That's good. It's got a lot of stuff on the side. Should have some... Should have some things. You know, like tools. And wood. So everywhere that a crew goes, they can build a bridge or a log cabin. Or, uh, you know, they could have some fun. They could build a rope swing with their pals. I mean, think of all the things you could do with all this timber. I mean, that's, it's, it's for activities. Because you retain people in the military longer when they're having fun while they're in the military. So, you know, there, instead of a Department of Civil Affairs, you should have a Department of, is the military having fun today? And then, you know, you retain your better people longer because maybe you had a go-kart laser day, laser tag day track thing. And, you know, everyone had some fun together. That would have been nice, maybe. I, I think that would be a great thing to do. Just saying. 
It's got a lot of wood on it. it. This this is wood we bring from home, you know, just in case we need it. Just the, the wood is very crucial. See, one side holds much bigger logs, just in case. Just in case. Much, much bigger, much bigger logs. You need them logs. Gentlemen, I'm, I'm going to tell you something for all the ladies out there. Ladies, ladies, don't worry. I, I'm going to say this so you don't have to. Gentlemen, ladies like like the logs. They like logs on the thing. Oh, where's Deputy? I came for Dep. Well, that's fair. He said he was unwinding after, uh... Yeah, my voice is starting to go. Ugh. Oh. Ah. Gotta stay hydrated. But no, I deputy was coming off work, and um, I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to boggle him if he's coming off work and then has to go back or what wherever he is in that stage. I want him to just chill, hang out, have a good time, not have to worry about reading chat or anything. Sometimes I like running stream solo because I'm terrible at it. All right, so what are we gonna do? You know what? Let's just leave this as is. Simple as. Pre-tank design months. All right, let's go ahead and put all of this to 90. Because if they gave me that much tonnage, I'm going to play with that much tonnage. There we go. Yeah, fuck yeah. Turret, armor, some. Jesus Christ. It was like a fucking Jiffy Pop. Oh no. I need to lower the armor on this to like 55 on the rear. Yeah, <laughs> rear. And then I'm going to do this. There we go. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a try. Wait, the gunner said, oh, that's right. Shit, I forgot. We followed. Let's see. Mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm, uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He's in the turret. All right, just making sure that's right before I put on that thing, which was probably what was wrong all along. All right, here we go. Yep, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> I can't believe that this is working. Hey, whoa. Stop shooting at me. This is very rude. I'm having I'm having enough problems getting up the hill, guys. Stop shooting at me. Guys. Oh. That was mean. That's no fun. I drove my pyramid all the way up the hill and just pondering my orb. Yeah, well. Well, that's how you learn. War is heck. All right, boys and girls. I think that about winds it up, so thank you all for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a good turkey day or whatever you celebrate. I mean, you could have a ham day. It's not for me, but, you know. Turkey's good. But don't remember when you're consulting your orb, uh, where to look up now and then. Have a safe one, and uh, I'll see you later.